stretch. Let's take a look at the stretch command and what it can do for us. I'll go ahead and start by drawing a rectangle here. Pan down a bit. I'll draw another rectangle here. And finally, I'll go ahead and select the line command. Create a line. A little point in the line and finish the line just like that. I'll hit the space bar to finish that. Now, what happens if we come back to this rectangle and say we want to make some adjustments? Maybe we need it a little bit more to the left or shrink it down just a bit. We could always select it, grab one of these grips, and stretch it around as needed. Well, this isn't exactly the stretch command, but this is what the stretch command will be doing. So why do we need a stretch command if I can just grab a grip and move it around? Well, when we create this rectangle here and this rectangle here, they are closed shapes and each of these lines is associated with each other. So let's go ahead and use this explode command which we haven't covered just yet so don't worry about it. I'll select this object here, press enter and now if I select this object here you see the rectangle is no longer one object. It's broken into four pieces. So what happens if we created an object that is in pieces just like this and we want to make adjustments? I can no longer grab this grip and move the whole object around. I'll go ahead and press Control Z to undo that. Well, that's where the stretch command comes in handy. The stretch command can be found right here in the Modify panel under the Home tab. Now, the very, 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 very and most important thing to remember about the stretch command, it says it right here in the command line for you. Select objects to stretch by crossing window or crossing polygon. So I have to select here and drag towards the left. And the reason for this is because the endpoints that exist inside the crossing polygon, here and here for example, the two right points of the rectangle that exist inside the crossing polygon are going to be the ones that are moving. These left points here that are not inside the crossing polygon are going to act as an anchor point. So I'll go ahead and select this. So these two points here, again, are going to be the ones that are moving. This part right here will be stretching, and this part here will be stretching, while these are the two anchor points. I'll go ahead and press the space bar to accept that. And now I need to specify a base point. This can be anywhere, so I'll just go ahead and click here. And now as I stretch to the right, stretch to the left, and it's the same as before when I grab the rectangle and stretch it around. If you want to make sure you have linear movement, I can go ahead and select the ortho, and then I can more easily stretch left and right. I'll just go ahead and pull to the left and select there. Now the reason this becomes very, very handy are for objects just like this. As you can see, this also is broken into pieces, so it would be very difficult to move. I'll go ahead and hit escape for that and deselect it. So this may arise when you are trying to possibly adjust a door, for example. You place the door here. This isn't exactly the symbol for a door and how you'd represent it in a drawing. But for now, let's just pretend this is your door. And you drew it in the middle here, like I did in between this line. But you meant for it to be all the way over here in this corner. So it'd be very difficult to pick up these two points here drag it to the corner, and then maybe adjust delete by deleting and extending some lines to fix this, while the stretch command can be a lot faster. I'll go ahead and select stretch. I'll grab that area within a crossing window. Once I'm done selecting it, I'll go ahead and press enter, select any base point, and then I can stretch it left and right as needed. So if I need it way over here, I can just go ahead and place it there. And that makes the process a lot easier than having to possibly select your objects, move it, and delete any non-needed geometry where the object used to be or where you're moving the object to.